What is up guys, Albert here and today we are going to be talking about La Casa de Papel part 4 or season 4 depending on how you want to look at it. But anyways, this show has just been released a while ago, 3pm here in the Philippines on Netflix. This show I have been waiting for part 4 ever since the start of enhanced community quarantine here in the Philippines. If anything, this is the only show that I've been waiting to come out ever since East. ECQ and it's the only actual reason why I resubscribed to Netflix was because I wanted to watch this show and I just finished watching all of the episodes in this um, 8 episode part and I have to say I have very mixed feelings about it like I love this show like I've watched every single episode since season one and I've binge watched it a couple of times because it's a really really compelling story it has super lovable characters and it has amazing cinematography sound design and everything and today I'm gonna be sharing to you my thoughts about part four without um, spoilers or anything and I just want to say that I have really mixed feelings about it they didn't choose to finish this story in part four they're gonna make a part five and that part is a little bit disappointing because in season one where they heisted the mint of Spain it's basically the place where you create money um, they did it in two parts and I am so like when they released part four I thought that this would explain everything how are they gonna escape how they're gonna get out of the um, Bank of Spain how are they gonna deal with police all of these captives and everything. I don't want to wait another long amount of time just waiting for part five. I want to see how this story ends, but like they had to like leave us in a cliffhanger. But uh, I love how this show um, encapsulated girl power. And in this season, I am happy that they expanded on giving everybody um, equality in terms of gender race. There is a lot of LGBTQ references in this part and there are a lot of LGBTQ relationships as well. And for all of you guys out there who are just waiting for the sex scenes here in this part 4 of La Casa de Papel, I am sorry to tell you but no, there is not a single sex scene. There is one implied as a rape scene and I'm not gonna get into detail with that because I don't want to spoil you guys. <laughs> Arturito. But anyways, I just want to applaud the producers of this show because they didn't go this the same route that they did in part 3 where they had so much sex scenes and it just got, it just muddied up the story a little bit and I would be skipping those because honestly, I'm in it for the story. Yeah, Albert, in it for the story. I actually loved the pacing of part 4. It was just like, tak, tak. This happened, this, then this, then this, then this, the causality and everything. And it was just amazing. The flow was amazing. It didn't it didn't make me bored watching it, that's for sure. It made me it kept me on my toes, kept me wondering what's going to happen next, kept me wondering how are they going to escape this situation. And as I neared the final episode of part four, I was just like, how are they gonna get out of this and then part and then episode 8 came and I found out that there's a cliffhanger for the next episode for the next part of this amazing show anyways if I'm rambling right now I am really really sorry because I don't have a script I just finished watching part and I am just so excited to share you guys my thoughts about it and yeah um another thing was like um there their cinematography like improved a lot from last part and the previous parts like um like there are certainly moments as I'm like, this is poetic cinema right there. This is just amazing. This is just amazing to look at. I would put this as a poster, as a wallpaper. It's just so pretty. Another thing is I love the character growth. I love how the producers of La Casa de Papel always find ways to improve upon their characters. It's just gonna make you love the characters even more. I can't really suggest if you guys should watch it because technically if you're looking to watch this part 4, you've probably already watched part 1, part 2, part 3 because you're not going to understand most of the stuff in this part if you haven't watched the previous parts and it's just amazing. It's just so much growth in the characters. But anyways, after part 3 ended the series in a super tense cliffhanger with the professor on the verge of being caught, with the inspector actually being caught, and with so many stuff happening in the end, Nairobi being shot, it's just amazing how they stitched part 4 into part 3 and just fulfilling so many feel-good moments 
and as well as so many tense moments in this series. It just made my heart wallow in sadness, happiness, and so many other feelings I don't even understand. And also, I love the sound design, I love the ambience, I love the background music they add to build tension, I love how they cut into different scenes, and sound design is just bringing each cut together so well. And I also love how the choice of music in certain scenes and how they incorporate actual full songs with vocals into scenes and it just made everything fit together. I love the production quality, I love the writing, I love how they did it. I'm just not happy that there's going to be a part 5 because I really really want to see how this is going to end. And yeah, that's basically my initial thoughts and impressions on La Casa de Papel Part 4. I implore you guys to watch it if you've already seen Part 1, 2, and 3. If not, watch it. It's on Netflix. If you don't have Netflix, find somebody who has Netflix because it's probably one of the f super few things that is actually worth watching on Netflix right now. Not gonna lie. So yeah, um, if you have the time, if you have the resources, go watch La Casa de Papel. You don't have to binge watch all 8 episodes in one sitting like I did, but enjoy it, savor it, and I'm probably gonna watch this whole series again in the next few days. So yeah, once well, again, my name is Albert EY, and if you like this video, don't hit, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, but if you don't, hit that dislike button, and once again, my name is Albert EY, and this has been a video. A goodbye.